Okay, it's four o'clock. So whenever you are ready. All right, I'd like to call to order the uh, Northampton License Commission meeting for March 3rd, 2021, 4 p.m. Um, commissioners that are present, Brian Campadelli, Natasha Yakolev, and Helen Kahn. I want to make the announcement about the Zoom recording. Um, we are recording this uh, entire meeting. And seeing that, uh, we'll ask for any public, public comment. All right, seeing none, we'll move on to item three, public hearing on application for alteration of license premises. Blue Paws, Inc., DBA, JJ, uh, JJ's Tavern, 99 Main Street, Florence. An application to include a permanent outdoor pavilion. So at this time, I'd like to open the public hearing. And that's pretty much how I do it, right, Annie? Uh, yeah, just a motion and a second. All right, can I get a second on that? I'll second. Oh. Okay. Um, so now we have to go over the uh, what what it is you're trying to do with that with the outdoor pavilion. Yep, or, you can do that. And then I have I just have one one piece of public comment that I received that I just wanted to read for the record, and then. Okay. You want me to do that first, or do you want to? Sure, go ahead. Uh, okay, so it was um, Mark Cavanaugh from Florence Savings Bank. He said that he took a look at the application and he said it seems to be similar to what they're doing on a temporary, they were doing on a temporary basis. Um, and he has no issues with the proposal and the bank supports their plans and would ask the commission to approve the application. Okay. All right, do you want to uh, give us an explanation of the outdoor pavilion? And what yeah, you're planning? So um, it basically mimics what we did last year with the tent that we had. We had a 30 by 30 tent that we kind of put up um, last minute that we got donated from the FCC for us. Um, Georgie, the diner owner, and I both, you know, worked together to, to make that space usable for both, both businesses. Um, and then, you know, going through the winter, the, the uh, summer and the fall, we've had you know, numerous, you know, issues with like wind and storms happening. It was just like this wild thing that we were always worried about. And, uh, and we also saw the response of the town and, and our, both of our um, supporters and, you know, customers, and they loved it. And we decided, you know, we try to go with this route, uh, make something a little smaller, but a little more permanent and safe and just, you know, make it more, make more of a go of it in the back of the parking lot. So we can kind of use that space that we've had uh, more um, realistically going forward, knowing that, you know, I think this is kind of the way, you know, business is going to be when, for warm weather for, for a while. I mean, you know, spring, summer, fall. I mean, I just think people's trends are going to head that way. And we both kind of, that saved our business last year. The outside tent saved our business last year and um, both of us. And so we have working together this year to do the same thing, but just, we want to make it nicer and more importantly, safer. So. Great. Um, Annie, do, do we cover questions uh, while the public hearing is open? Like if we uh, have any, anything yeah, else to add to maybe it? Maybe just want to ask if there's any public comment on this hearing and then you can close it and then you guys can ask questions. So, okay. Okay. We ask direct questions after the public hearing is closed. Okay. Yeah. Is there any public comment at this time? All right. So I'm going to make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. So, um, Helen, do you have some questions? Yeah, I was just wondering. So, I know that you did it in conjunction with the uh, owner of Miss Lowe's last year. And so, is that a space that she's going to be sharing as well, or is this just for JJ? Oh, it's going to be the same. Yeah, the same. We're going to share it the same way we did last year. Um, the only reason I'm here is because of my liquor license, is a major part of us being able to be out there. And I wanted to make sure this was all done by the books as early as possible so we could get this thing built right. and, uh, in time to you know, to use it. Yeah, that's great. And do you think, because I was looking at the plan and it, so there's the pavilion and then there's um, a barrier or something further out into the parking lot. Is that yep. correct? Yeah. Yeah, it's so just, yeah. it's kind of just a barrier to, 
for aesthetics to kind of close the area in. So when you're, when you're out there, you know, we're going to spend the money on this infrastructure. You don't want to just be staring at dumpsters and cars and whatever. So we're going to kind of, you know, do like a nicer, you know, kind of, yeah, I guess barrier, but that's going to be our entrance and exit as well for foot traffic. Right. Yeah. Well, sounds great. I have a quick sure. question about the um, the parking. I noticed coming in off of Main Street, when you're coming between your building and Collective Copies on the other side, there's a barrier at the end of that. Am I seeing that correctly? Uh, there's that's to yeah, that's to not allow not so allow any car you, pass. You could, yeah, you can still come in through Main Street Park in front yep. of the diner ramp and the Collective Copies and go down the Bankway, but oh, to okay. get through our way is going to stop right at the edge of our building to the car. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was my question. Cause there was a shadow from the other building. Is there like, do cars have some place to go from that point? But obviously okay. they do. Yeah. Great. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Not for me. No. Yeah. I don't have any, uh, either. It's pretty straightforward. So, um, I want to make a motion to approve. I will second the motion. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm just going to take a quick roll. Um, Brian? Yes. Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, item number four. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Uh, public hearing on an application for new alcoholic beverage license accordance with Chapter 109, Special Acts of 2016 as a result of the liquor license lottery. Azad Barra Inc., DBA, India House, uh, Restaurant 45 State Street, Northampton. Um, at this time, uh, I would like to make a motion to open a public hearing. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Can you uh, state your name for the record? Right. Om Prakash Kanojia. Excellent. Um, so, Annie, um, on this, it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Then we handle everything last meeting as far as this goes, and, and they meet and match uh, every qualification, right? So, I guess I'm confused why the public hearing when just well put it through. Well, we met we met to de to determine a, a winner for the lottery, and then for the ABCC for a new license, there needs to be a public hearing. Okay. On the application, so now you're now you're just having a hearing to certify that they everything looks okay and that they're going to be responsible license holders, et cetera. Right, right. So in stating that again, it looks like everything in your paperwork is all in and um, you're going to utilize this license uh, in the manner, manner that it's intended. So is there anything you'd like to add about this license uh, while we're in public hearing? Yes, we are now actually doing some uh, some changes like, you know, we are going to put a handicap bathroom, handicap accessible, and, uh, and always we have done a responsible business. So we are going to continue like that. Very good. Okay. Uh, yes, go ahead, Rich. Hi, I'm, I'm Rich Cooper. I'm a neighbor at, at State Street Wines and Spirits. Um, I live at 136 South Main Street in Florence. And I just want to say the India House are great neighbors. They run a great operation. And I'm wholeheartedly in favor of this approval. Great. Thank you for your input. Thank Any you. other public comment? All right. Seeing none, I'm going to make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 You need a roll call on that or no? Uh, not on that, no. Okay. Um, any questions, Helen or Natasha, regarding this? Nope. Everything looks uh, in order, and we're really excited. Okay. I second that. <laughs> <laughs> Very much. Would um, 
So do we need a motion for anything? I mean, they've got, all right, so let's let's hear a motion to approve the um, uh, the all alcohol beverage uh, license in accordance with the chapter 109 of special acts 2016 as a result of our liquor lottery. lottery. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Brian? Y yes. Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good luck. Good luck. <clears throat> um, item number five, vote to rescind the following previously approved short-term liquor licenses, Academy of Music, location 274th Main Street. Um, the types are wine and malt. Date and times are February 23rd, 1 to 6, March 11th, um, and that's 2020, March 11th, 2020, 8 to 11, March 14th, 2020, 8 to 11, um, March 15th, 8 to 11, and then Notch 8, Inc., DBA Union Station, Tunnel Bar, Platform Bar, and Deck, um, April 1st, 2020, 4 to 7, and Click Workspace, location 9 and a half Market Street, uh, those dates are March 26th, 2020, April 17th, 2020, and May 14th, 2020, all 6 to 9 p.m. Um, Thank you for reading that. Yeah, you're welcome. So we need a motion to rescind all of these uh, licenses, correct? Yeah, so most of them were supposed to be on the March 2020 agenda, or <clears throat> I think it was April 2020 agenda, and then mid-March, everything shut down, so they never were, and then I'm just trying to wrap up 2020 and just need to make sure for administrative purposes that everything matches, so, um, and then the other ones that were, the Academy ones were on there to be rescinded, and then the other ones uh, click and notch, they canceled obviously their events, so they, they never got the license. Okay. So, yep, they are just a motion to rescind them all is, is sufficient. Okay. okay, I'll make a motion to rescind all um, previously approved short term liquor licenses as stated earlier. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Brian? Yes. Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. Excellent. Number six, request approval for seasonal liquor license renewals pending receipt of all appropriate documents. Hampshire Franklin and Hamden Agricultural Society Beer Hall. Uh, the same for the infield, Florence Pie Bar, Sanctuan Inc. or Asian Taste, DBA Asian Taste. Uh, Frank Newell Look Memorial Park. Pines Theater, T Roots Inc., DBA T Roots. Yep. Uh, so, go ahead. So, um, I sent out the seasonal renewal packets on Friday um, because they need to be signed in the month of March. Um, so, I'm just requesting that you approve them pending all appropriate documents and inspection so that. Um, I can get them their license before the season begins. So I'll make a motion to approve all licenses pending the receipt of appropriate documents and insurances and licenses, et cetera. I will second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Brian? Yes. Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yeah. Excellent. Clerk's update. Yeah, so I, I kind of kept this on here from the last agenda. I don't really have anything new to report except for there's a few non-liquor licenses that haven't been renewed, but I've been in touch with all of them. So I'm working on it. Um, okay. But other than that, I don't, I don't have anything else to report. All right, great. Um, item eight, approval of minutes. So everybody read the minutes? Yep. yep. Yep, I did as well. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes for February 3rd, 2021. Second. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. 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 
Brian. Yes. Natasha. Yes. Helen. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Any new business? I have a question. Um, oh, yes. Sorry, Danny. Go nope, ahead. All you go for it. So in the, in the, when we were able to grant special outdoor Can licenses <laughs> for establishments who didn't previously have it to get them outdoors during COVID, what is happening in the next couple of months if those restaurants are, want to continue to have that outdoor offering once the weather warms up a little bit? Are we, what, is there a plan in place for that? Any sort of infrastructure? So, um, yes, there's the city's having their, everyone's coming together either at the end of this week or next week to talk about what we have obviously are doing outdoor dining. Yep. Um, there is a proposal in place or uh, not in place, but there is a proposal to close down part of Strong Avenue um, and have everybody kind of like local Ibiza, Eastside familiars like at all out in the street, but it would it would only go up to the municipal parking lot so that people could still access that area. Um, so there's that, and then we're probably going to do something similar to Lower Main Street uh, because it was such a success. Um, I don't know what's happening with Upper Main Street yet, but there we're we're starting the conversations. Um, we got to get DPW on board to see like what their time frame is to bringing everything back down like the blocks and all that um as far as people people needing approval I, I would say about half of them already have it um so like jj's and people that are either on the sidewalk or in a private lot already have that approval from when we did it last summer um mm -hmm. because their license says that it expires within i think it's like 60 days after the end of the state of emergency. Mm -hmm. So it's it's basically a continuous license until the governor rescinds COVID order 35, I think it is. Um, and then, so, but then the other ones like, they like La Vera Cruzana who came out in the street and like Dirty Truth who came out into the street. Those license, those temporary extensions, um, we only granted them until November 15th. So they, they will have to come back to the license commission once determine what the layout is going to be on the street okay did i answer your question absolutely 100 no, okay i was just wondering if there's anything we, we could do to expedite that approval so nothing was waiting on a license commission meeting but it sounds like it's heavily weighted in the city and dpw formulating a physical plan yes yeah, so we're definitely waiting for that and i also i, I don't i i don't want you guys to have to have as many meetings as you did last mm -hmm summer because it was crazy um so I will throw that out there too I don't know I don't know what we could do I don't know if maybe Alan Seawald could weigh in on whether or not you guys could give me temporary authority like we did for common Vic. I don't know because I think that's all an ABCC thing where they were the ones that said it needs to go to the local board right so um yeah I'll think about that yeah I mean it seems like it, yeah Right. I mean, because we know that we say yes. I mean, if, the, if you know, if it's been approved by all the powers that be, <laughs> we're just doing the final yeah. step of approval. You know, I don't think we yeah. end up changing anything. So, yeah. Anything new um, other than that? The only other thing is, I, I think um, since we got the response from the ABCC about Abiza Tapas, basically, they they submitted their appeal because uh, the license commission denied the change of DBA, and then Alan Seawald submitted a motion to dismiss their appeal, and his emo his motion to dismiss was approved. So basically, Abiza's appeal was just wiped out because I don't know. Does, does that make sense? Yeah. He submitted a motion to dismiss, and that was approved, so it was dismissed. Um, but so at this point, it's in your hands as to how to proceed. Um, they've admitted that they're not doing business as Ibiza Tapas. Um, so it's time, it's like been kind of sitting there for three years and it's kind of time to make a decision. 
and I understand it's we're in the middle of COVID. Um, I mean, this did predate COVID, um, but it's it's in it's up to your it's up to you guys now on how to proceed. Unfortunately, so. You've referred to them a couple of times in this meeting as Ibiza, and so I was kind of hoping that they changed their name, but that's not the case. <laughs> I take it. Like, they're not adopting Ibiza formally. I, I refer to it as Ibiza kind of just a principle and like because I have a certain feelings about it and because it's the actual license holder name. Yep. So yep. I will always refer to it as Ibiza. Yeah. So I'm, I've, remind me again, why why can't they um adopt the name of visa and then do dba whatever else because the dba is supposed to be a visa tapas uh, i gotcha is there a rule change that we can make on that or is that abcc locked in it's well it's special legislation that the mayor fought for and so, then boston locked it in correct i see so are they, um, I mean, right now, technically, we've said they're grandfathered in because they're keeping their DBA as a visa tapas, right? That's kind of the latest, but they, I know they want to change their DBA. Right, right. But they're not grandfathered in. Yeah. Well, I, I know, I know, that's maybe a bad expression for it. But, um, but are they going to change their DBA? I mean, they we have can. sort of said, we have sort of said, because of what happened in the past, if they keep their DBA as a visa, then they can keep the license, even though things didn't go as we would have liked them in the past. But so now, anyway, so, so I guess is our hand forced only if they change their DBA, or is are you saying no matter what happens? They can't change the DBA, because if they change the DBA, then they're ceasing to do business as that as that entity that was granted the license. And then well, in that I, case, it would come back to the city. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying even, if, even if they now they, go ahead. I'm saying if they change their DBA, then our hand is forced and we say, okay, we'll give us back the license, right? Correct, yeah. but they tried to do that and the license commission denied it. Yeah, so, so you can now. Yeah. Sorry, go on. I just have no, a quick- No, 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 no. So I guess my question is if they don't, so they are in this position where they have to keep that DBA to keep the license is essentially what we have said, right? Um, we have said that up until this point, but now that they've basically come to the commission, admitted that they're not doing business as a visa tapas anymore, they are not in compliance with the special okay. act. So quick question. I mean, unless it's ego with them, or, or unless there's any other tax purpose or whatnot, why can't they create a menu, like do the do business as Ibiza, the DBA Ibiza, okay? Keep it that way. But why can't they hang the sign they want out front and have the main logo on a, on a menu be the sign they want as long as they're reporting business as Ibiza? So no one in the done general that. public cares that's what they've been doing they've done that the abiza top of sign is small above it and then underneath it, it's homestead they, they set the sign to keep the license up until now because they've now come to the commission and made it known that they are no longer doing business as abiza tapas okay so at that so point really, must have, really no at that point point we must have said then fine surrender your license or did we not I mean, Which is not. We declined. They came to us asking to change the DBA, and we said, "No, you can't change the DBA because the license was given to that LLC DBA combined." And they appealed it. So they went to the ABCC, appealed it. ABCC dismissed their appeal. So that information is now just coming back to us. So they got to dis dismiss the appeal. So if they're still holding strong on what they end, we have no choice but then to sort of, um, take the license back. Correct. So you're basically saying you're going to operate without a liquor license, and it's a is it wine and malt only, or no? It's a full no, alcohol. It's all alcohol. alcohol. Yeah, it's all alcohol because of special legislation, right? Because before I just remember when they only had wine and malt prior to that, I think. Right, and that's then they were then they benefit that way back when three restaurants ago benefited from the. Yeah. 
from the special license. I guess wow. I, do I mean, so they're just not making a very good decision on their, their behalf. I and mean, everyone, and we're rooting for, you know, nobody wants to do this. And that's why this has been hanging around as long as it has. Right. Um, in good times, nobody wants to do this, but, and this is the worst of times because of the pandemic. But um, I get my question for you, Annie, is has the restaurant owner, Jeremy, been informed of the full breadth of, even though it's a short list of licenses that could be available to him that don't include this liquor license, such as a cordial license, along with his wine and malts. I assume he's aware of that. I mean, I'm assuming he's aware. I don't know if I specifically yeah. told him that, but he's been, he's reached out. I mean, he's talks to Amy King Lane about it all the time. He's called Rep Sabadosa about it. He's written a layer to the letter to the mayor in which the mayor responded. Yep. Um, he's, he's well aware of, I guess, what's going on. I don't know about cordials though. I mean, of yeah, course, so, it's, it's not equivalent, but it's, yeah. it's a bridge that we know can be helpful. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like at this point, yeah, we are at the point where we need to revoke it. And then the question is, I mean, I, I'll, I'll state, I guess, on the record, because we're being videotaped, it would be within our power, although it would feel odd to revoke it and then we assign it, right, um, to them, just because there's nothing saying this is how it needs to function. All, all it says about those lottery licenses is they come back to the city or come back to the commission, right? And then they are redistributed in some manner. Is that correct? I'm just yeah. Out there. Do we lose that one 100%? If it no. Goes? So once it ceases, yeah. ceases to do business as the LLC DBA Visa Tapas, it comes back to the city for reissuance. So right? why are we... I mean, to your hell, to your Helen, to your point, why are we, why are we roadblocking this? Why don't we do exactly? That's a great idea. Why don't we just? I take never, it? I honestly never thought about that. It just, it, yeah. So, so yeah. So I guess that's my question, and that would be an Alan Seawald question, and then we would have to discuss if that's something we want to do because it is setting a very strange precedent because we just had this lottery and we did it sort of. Yeah, but the same you know what though. Before. They bought a business, correct me if I'm wrong, but they bought a business on the premise they would have an all alcohol license, correct? They, no. They didn't? It's the same owners? The tapas. And then, they, so this is the third, third. Okay, so they just want to change the name. The it's point the is though, it's a non-transferable license right. not to be benefited from if you sell it. You only can benefit from the use of it while you're doing business as that. So basically, Jeremy, if we if you give it back to Jeremy, he's just coming into a license that's gonna completely benefit his business. But what about any all the other people that Yeah. Right. So yeah. can you put a special stipulation that he's not allowed to sell that on the on the Well uh, there already is a special market? stipulation yeah. and they went around that, which is the point. Yeah, so it, it would essentially be the same if we did it that way. It would essentially be the same as if we had turned this blind eye this whole time, and then but then when they went to sell the business, then we said, okay, now, <laughs> now you need to give it back to us. So it's it would be. It, sort of, it also, you know, it, I mean? it also might be weird if they if they if after all this time you take the license and then give it right back to them. I know. So the, I guess I'm just no. putting out there the options to discuss because it yeah. seems the normal route would be to take it back and then there's another lottery and all those people can be in the lottery again and then we do what we did last time and they obviously would put their names in the hat and pray that they get it but you know so that but if you went with the same credentials as you went with last time it was only wine and malt holders so he right. wouldn't even be in the so that's unless, i guess yeah could unless be. you change the requirement you would yeah, I mean, he would have to get a pass because he has the license, or supposedly has the license. I mean, he's been. Or okay, so you, if you think, just think of it this way, Brian. O'Brien from Sierra Grill has the same exact type of license. He just went out of business and had to give the license back. That's why India House got the license. 
what if he found his like a Jeremy or a Benson Hyde and was like, oh, here, take my license. Like, I'll sell it to you and you just do business as whatever. And then down the line, he just changed it. It's just, it's just not. No, I know. We have created over the years, um, this commission has created uh, a hard spot for itself. It seems like, um, you know, we should have just, you know, the, the way it's written, I know we're trying to have a heart and keep everybody in business, but, um, you know, you're either going to try and help who you can, when you can, or you're going to hurt feelings, you know? Well, I think to the, in defense of the, I mean, I wasn't on, it was a different iteration when this went down, but that first transfer, and I use that lightly, the owner of Ibiza Tapas was still holding ownership in the second yep. iteration. So exactly. I can see the gray area that was in front of the license commission when that decision was made. I wish it different. They had, that's had right. And they intended on running it as a visa. You're absolutely right. correct. Right. So, so I, I feel, I, I hate that the reality is looking more and more like, uh, you know, and, and this is no fault of Jeremy's. It's really, he's, he's, I feel terrible for him. But I so think. So, Annie, if we were forced, um, somebody of a higher nature like Boston stepped in and said, you have to make a decision by this time next week. I mean, what are, you know, and it has to follow the, the law. What is our only option? Just take it and lottery it? I mean. Well, I mean, however you want to reissue it is really up to you. But I mean, at this point, they've ceased to do business as a beast of tapas. Therefore, they are they are really not technically shouldn't be the holder of the license. And we wrote, we sent them that letter and that's why they appealed, right? That says, if you're not going to run as a visa, then that license becomes null and void for your business, right? Yes. And uh, just to clarify, is that the letter or it was, you can't change your DBA and still hold this license? You know, I know it's maybe splitting hair hairs. But the appeal I thought was on, they wanted to appeal to say, no, we can, we want to appeal and say, we can change our DBA and still hold a license, right? Yeah, yes, that was, that was their argument. Attorney Evans basically thought that just changing the DBA is not going to change the whole, right. it doesn't matter how they identify themselves, I think was the argument. Right. Um, but that they're still doing business as that LLC. Yeah. So, is, oh, sorry. Well, I was going to say, I, I, I think it feels terrible, but I do, it does seem like now that our hand is forced and we need to rectify the situation, which to me would say we need to, so the license needs to come back to the city. I mean, I would say at the very least, this bridge, you know, that Natasha is talking about, I mean, I, in terms of timing, so that they could at least be in the, the lottery, is there a, can they purchase a wine and malt? license sort of simultaneously so at least they're running with that and then also can be in the running for the lottery i don't know how that works logistically they can apply know. for a seasonal wine and malt license okay which starts on april 15th the season okay so do you want to send them a letter stating what their options are uh i don't think that's that's how so I think the way to proceed is you'll need to hold kind of like a revocation hearing of sorts. I'll have to talk to Alan and see Wald about it and see how to go about it. I, I, is that how, you, I don't know how you want to proceed. I think we would need to know how to proceed in order to decide how to proceed, if you know what I mean. Like if we need to, like, does that mean a revocation hearing? So how could that line up with, you know, it's March 3rd, wine and malts, License applications are due April fifteenth. No, that's just when seasonal license holders can start. Okay. The season starts; they can start serving. Yep. And and there is nothing that precludes him from applying for that while he holds, because he'd be applying for it under a different DBA. So, um, I would assume. Yeah, I yeah he can. I mean, if as long as it's under a different LLC, because like. Right. Eric has five licenses, so. 
does any does the fact that this has happened and has been going on for three years jeopardize the city's chances in getting more special lottery licenses in the future? I don't know if it jeopardizes it, but the mayor doesn't necessarily feel comfortable going to get more licenses with this license just float. There's no resolve. So yep. he he said he would make a decision on whether he would go for more once this has been taken care of. Okay. Huh. And then he would, depending on the outcome, he would re he would write the legislation differently so it wouldn't we wouldn't have these issues i'm thinking also for their sake because it sounds to me like we're leaning towards we have to revoke this but if there can be it's making me realize i don't know if he has alcohol on his premises that he needs to sell back or whatever i mean i would like to give him this window to rectify this so that he yep. doesn't have so he at least isn't out whatever alcohol he's purchased i don't even know if that's a thing he can do sell it back but um why is he so dead set about not running as a visa? If it's that simple, just keep running as a visa. I don't understand it. Do you think anyone gives a half a, a, a hat, whether or not it says a visa or a homestead out on the door or on the menu? I just don't, I don't get it. I mean, is it ego? I mean, if you have to keep your license, you got to do what you got to do, right? I don't, I don't, I don't know the guy. So I don't, I don't, I just don't understand why they want to push back so hard. If you can't change the legislation uh, without upsetting everyone else, I don't understand why he won't bend and just, does, does anybody know? Has anyone talked think, to him about it? I don't know the answer to the exact question you're asking, but I think that the pushing and the pushing is kind of, um, going hand in hand with our lack of movement on this because it's been a known issue. You know, we haven't, we haven't done, I don't think we've, I don't think we've done our part mm -hmm. because none of us want to do this to a business. So my, oh, sorry. I hate to keep going in circles, but have they officially changed their DBA now? I mean, or have they just said they were trying to? They can't. They can't. You, you, you uh, said no. But have they established a different one? I think is maybe the question. Oh, like have they? separate. Because from, right. Because it seems like know. there needs to be like, is it? Are we still within our rights at this point to say you have indicated you're going to be changing your DBA? We're taking it. You know what I mean? It's almost like there needs to be this, uh, this hard like, oh, they changed their DBA. We get that now. We're taking back the license. So, 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 so. That would mean they'd come to you and you would approve their DBA in the next meeting oh, they, and take it back. Okay, because we have to approve the DBA. Okay, yeah. I see what you're saying. And I just wanna, so. since this is this discussion isn't on the agenda, it's under new business, I don't want to, I don't think we should talk any more about it without it specifically identified in the agenda. Um, so maybe we can, I can put it on the meeting for, or on the agenda for next meeting and we can have a discussion about it then, or if you think you're ready to, I, I don't know. I don't know how you want to proceed. I have one more question regarding, okay. um, earlier you mentioned like, uh, the governor has like a article 36 or something like that for COVID. What is that? It's his COVID order 35. Uh, it, okay. It, it, has a lot of guidelines in it about restaurants and outdoor dining. All right. So would we be out of bounds to table this until he rescinds that article 35? You know what I mean? Like the last thing we also want to do, number one, we don't want to shut them down. Number two, we want to do it while everything's still hot. You know what I mean? So when the governor says, bang, it's done, herd immunity, everybody back to normal, yay then making an issue and, and handle it and then just i don't know i'm just throwing that out there yeah, I mean, you, technically i think you do have the authority to table it until you choose i just also yeah i just know that i mean the mayor's not going to be here much longer and if he would be the one to petition for any more licenses um, so just keep that in mind, but yeah, yeah but he's not even, he can't even give us an answer whether or not he's going to, if we handle it. 
So it's still up in the air yes, after that. Yes, he. Yes, yes. He. What do you? What do you mean? Well, you just said earlier that he will let us know his decision after we handle this. Not. Not. I took that as you guys, but he he doesn't feel like he can go and petition for more licenses when this one is just kind of out here lingering. Right. And then where I got confused, as you said, once we handle this, then he'll give us his answer whether or not he was going to go and petition for more licenses. That's the way I took it. If okay. it's wrong, I apologize. Okay, that's fair. So, so, yeah, for the betterment of the community, we handle it now. I mean, for the betterment of what's his name, Jason? Jeremy. Jeremy, you know, you table it. I don't know. So well, put that so on the agenda. Can we put it on the agenda for next month, uh, you know, and, and vote on that? Or do you want to make a decision now on how you want to proceed on that? We can't group? make any decisions today because it's not on the agenda. It's so not on the agenda, I think we right. need to stop the discussion. Yeah. yeah. So um, let's start up again next month then. That'd be great. So if I'll put a mind. discussion on for next month? Yes, please. Is that okay with Natasha and Helen? Yes. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Good enough. So motion to adjourn. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.